In 2020, a congressional seat covering parts of Katy, Sugarland, and Pearland will be wide open. That's because Republican Pete Olson won't seek re-election. Adam Bennett is live in Sugarland to break down the impact this could have in an area that is changing demographically and politically as well. Adam? Well, Houston has gotten a lot of the headlines for being the country's most diverse city, but suburbs like Sugarland aren't far behind either. And like in Harris County, they're seeing political changes here, too. In the heart of Sugarland. I've lived in Fort Bend County for over 30 years. A quick snapshot in the town square. I've definitely seen it become more diverse. Of the changing face of Fort Bend County. A lot of different countries, a lot of different uh, cultures. Alejandra Marine and her family moved to Sugarland a year ago. My husband is from Argentina. One of my, my boys is from Mexico and my girl is here from Houston. Last year's Kinder Houston area survey found Fort Bend County's population was nearly evenly split among white, black, Hispanic and Asian residents. And politically, 2018 is the same year it turned blue. The district attorney, the county judge, a majority of the county commissioners were Democrats. Now, KHOU political analyst Bob Stein says the departure of Congressman Pete Olson. My sense is he would have been primaried, tea party. Leaves his 22nd district, which includes most of Fort Bend, but also part of more conservative Brazoria County, wide open. The best chances for a switch in party control is always an open seat. But Stein says the big question now, which Republicans will run? He believes one candidate will be Fort Bend County Sheriff Troy Nails, who announced last week he won't seek another term. And I'm seriously considering running for Congress. And had considered running for Olson's seat in 2018. My goal. Three Democrats have officially announced their campaigns. Shri Kulkarni, who narrowly lost to Olson last year, and whose campaign told us today, quote, demographics are not destiny. To win next year, we have to articulate a clear message for change. There's also Pearland City Council member Derek Reed, who noted the district's changing demographic and called the seat, quote, a toss up. Finally, attorney Nyanza Moore, who wrote on social media after Olson's announcement, hashtag take the seat. It's all about bringing out your base. And Stein says some state House Republicans here in Texas may consider running for that seat as well, but they will have to take into account the redistricting battle coming up next year. Uh, now, at the same time, Sheriff Nels, he did thank Congress Congressman Olson on Twitter for his service, but he has not made any kind of official announcement about whether or not he intends to run. Len? Uh, we'll see what happens with the politics. Thank you, Adam.